Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and I wanted to show you an update here with the uh, ground cherry plant. I went away for several days on a little vacation and when I come back this plant was completely shriveled up. The nutrient level here had dropped all the way and I refilled it just about here. Basically about a, there was an inch between the net cup and the nutrient level. This way I have some room for the air roots to keep growing. And most of the plant looked like this, unfortunately. So I poured in the same ratio as always. I used uh, two grams of master blend, two grams calcium nitrate, and one gram of Epsom salts. And the plant actually came back to life in a few days. So let's take a look up close, look at this. Look how strange this looks the fruit is actually growing on the outside of the lantern that's not how it's supposed to be this is what a ground cherry looks like as you see look at this beautiful lantern and it resembles the tomatillo similar to that and look at that right at the base that that's where the flower used to be let's see if we can get a nice up close shot look at that beautiful so this plant pollinates itself which is quite nice and right inside of this lantern is one of these little berries this is a ground cherry and sometimes people call it gooseberries but I believe they're two separate things and here we have another one right here that looks exactly the same and this is gonna get a, a little bit bigger these are really small right now and the nice thing about it is when it's ready they just these lanterns just fall off right to the ground and you come in and gather them and they're going to be green similar to this when they fall so what you want to do is basically just put them somewhere on the side and let them continue to ripe, ripening, uh, ripen up you know they're ready when they're going to be a nice golden yellow color but the good thing is look at that we have a lot of new leaf growth coming in I clipped off as much of the dead leaves, the dead foliage as possible. Unfortunately this one didn't make it so we went from five main branches to three. But I think that's okay because everywhere I look there's new leaf growth coming in. Look at this beautiful tiny leaves right there. This one right here, look at this. And top here. So if you come in and you see your plant shriveled up you forgot to water it it took a little bit extra don't worry refill it wait a couple days and let's see what happens you might get lucky and the plant will come back and I noticed basically in between each of the no right underneath here basically right where the node splits and the new branch comes out the side branch right underneath there should be a little fruit that forms and I would have had much more if it wasn't for them shriveling up, but that's all right. That's part of growing. This is the first time I'm growing this plant, and it's all a fun learning experience. So look at this. Side shoots everywhere. So soon enough, this plant will come back and look great. Let's maybe actually take a quick peek at what the root system looks like. Let's lift these lights up. and see what we got not too bad still looks really white and pretty healthy as you see right there that's the inch difference basically and when you're pouring in the water you want to keep it roughly from here and up this will be enough for of oxygen roots and the rest of it will absorb the nutrients down below and it will continue to grow and for now I just wanted to show you what a lantern looks like and show an update with the ground cherry plant and we'll be back in about a week and I'll show you what's going on if you liked the episode don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching